two dozen, that's 24 different AR-15 parts, manufacturers and brands, each with their own take on the second most popular AR-15 color shade next to black, flat dark earth. Uh, today, we're talking the 50, 30, 40, however many shades of FDE. Hey guys, Randy here with AT3Tactical.com, and today it's all about that desert brown for our AR-15 parts and accessories. This one's gonna be a blast because I was able to pull 24 of the most popular AR-15 brands from our warehouse shelves, open them all up, so watch for some FDE open box sales soon, and now we get to compare everyone's interpretation of flat dark earth. This one should actually go pretty darn quick because not only are we rolling through these two dozen brands alphabetically, uh, we'll leave some chapters down below for you to jump around, uh, but for a standard or baseline comparison, we're putting them all next to Magpul, probably the most popular brand in the entire AR-15 industry. All right, no need to wait any longer. Let's kick the whole thing off with Adaptive Tactical. This is a longtime name in AR-15s and some inside baseball here at AT3 Tactical, the black version of this lightweight pistol grip. Uh, one of the most popular ones that you guys get from us. It's hard to keep them on the shelves. We have Aero Precision next. Definitely one of the most recognizable brands in AR-15 parts. Really good FDE lineup too. R1, S1 handguards. You know, actually, if you're looking to one brand to outfit your entire rifle with, you almost could get it done with all aero precision parts. Uh, the breech charging handle, though, anodized, so a little more shiny tan, but pretty close. Amend 2, what can we say? They make some pretty good AR-15 mags, including FDE. Uh, and the bright red number 2 underneath, it's pretty classy. We've got Armaspec up next beyond their extremely popular AR-15 stealth recoil springs. Uh, these Victory charging handles, they seem to be the second most popular in the Armaspec name. I have to say they did a pretty good FDE matching job parts as well. All right, yeah, we have to throw our own name in the hat here because not only are our own Spear, M-Lock, and Pro Quad, quad Rails uh, Cerakoted in a rainbow of colors, uh, specifically for our FDE, we color match to Magpul's H267 FDE Cerakote color. Guys, even beyond that, because we're such fans of the Gen 2 Magpul PMAG, uh, they only come in black. So we physically break down a lot of J2 uh, PMAGs, have them Cerakoted uh, right now in FDE, ODG, and pink. Uh, but wait, there's more. Almost every AR-15 button, switch, threaded part, we have 10 or so Cerakoted color options for pretty much all of them. Here's a pretty popular name, B5 Systems. It's actually one of my favorite aggressive grip textures out there uh, for a pistol grip. Just still wish they would have applied it to the back strap here. Probably the most recognizable B5 Systems piece of gear, the B5 Bravo or B5's version of the SOP mod uh, buttstock. If I wasn't attached to my Magpul SLK, uh, I would 100% have this for my second choice. All right, the Bravo Company BCM Gunfighter lineup, another aggressive grip on the BCM pistol grips. Yes, they too make a SOP mod style buttstock. For me though, uh, my go-to BCM accessory that goes on every single handguard almost, uh, the M-Lock rail panels or rail covers. So grippy, so slim. Well, we don't have to get very long-winded on Breek arms in this video. We do that enough in other videos because we just love their stuff. That said, the Breek arms war hammers are where it's at. Although, I have to say personally, this isn't my personal FDE choice that I would make, but beyond color flavor, Breek is by far and large our first stop for AR-15 charging handles. Okay, let's talk about Duramag for a quick second. No, this is not FDE. No, they actually don't have an FDE metal Duramag, but because they're so extremely popular, we figured uh, some of you would be searching for a tannish or browner one. Bronze is the closest we could get for this metal mag. You know, to be honest, it actually isn't that terrible, uh, especially if you mix and match it with a couple other bronzy parts here and there. Ergo is a brand that has grown on me, particularly these bulkier, rubberized Ergo grips. Uh, a bit too bulky for my taste on an AR-15, but after slapping one on our recent AR-10 308 build giveaway rifle, 
I will absolutely be going with Ergo on my own AR-10 build. Fab Defense is next. Lots of FDE options for grips, butt stocks. Uh, most popular Fab Defense that you guys pick up from us, actually the Magwell grips. Hmm. So I don't have the brown Grove Tech padded sling, but yes, that too will go on my future AR-10 build. But what we do have here from Grove Tech are their beefier, heavy-duty QD sling swivels. Uh, the FDE, it looks pretty on point to me. Hair is an interesting brand in the AR-15 world. Uh, German manufacturer, stylish takes on close quarters type uh, AR accessories, uh, like these iconic looking front grips. And I can dig the Harrow windowed mag with uh, the window facing me. Hex mag, yes, yes, and double, triple yes. At least that's what I gotta say to Hex mag magazines. I've sent so many 556, 300 blackout rounds through Hex mag mags, uh, I can't say one bad thing about them. Granted, I was first drawn because of the sweet color match of the Hex mag gray. It's got slightly bluish hue, so worked for my build. It's hard not to hear about Hogue in the AR-15 space, and they knocked it out of the park with the Hogue over-molded gear lineup. For the amount of Hogue gear that you guys get from AT3, by far the Hogue buttstock and pistol grip with the beaver tail are at the top. Uh, might be the rubberized feel over plastic. Next up, we have KE Arms, one of Travis's favorites. Uh, like he said in his gear grind video and when he was showing off his personal stoner cloner build, these poly lowers have been purposely over abused and have came out the other side unscathed. That's saying a lot for plastic. Speaking of Travis's gear grind videos, Lancer was another highlight for reliable, durable, colorful AR-15 mags, even cooler to me, they got FDE in translucent. Uh, and not a bad color match too, pretty sweet. So I don't think anyone needs an introduction to Magpul. We've been looking at Magpul parts all day, uh, but something Magpul will most likely wind up on your rifle. I can't say that we have one rifle here that doesn't have Magpul on it. Mission First Tactical is one that I haven't put a lot of personal time behind, but there's plenty of MFT gear around this joint, uh, particularly in magazines. And actually, maybe I have exercised one of these at the range. Either way, MFT, FDE options, mags, grips, and buttstocks. Okay, honestly, Phase 5 is a brand that I'm proud to have on an AR-15, specifically that 8620 steel extended bolt release. I mean, would you just look at it on our Desert Destroyer 300 Blackout? Look at it. Oh, the Radiant Raptors. Guys, we just did a whole video on the best AR-15 charging handles. You know who won? Radiant. Uh, I'd be willing to bet that a pool of shooters choosing Radiant charging handles as their go-to is a lot larger than we think. Very, very popular. Strike Industries, they do have some pretty sweet looking red colors and gear, but they also snuck in an FDE hand stop under our nose. Here's another brand with a ton of AR-15 parts in a bunch of color options, Timber Creek Outdoors. Almost every button or switch or small AR-15 part that you can swap, it seems that uh, Timber Creek has it in one of their seven or eight different colors, particularly FDE. Check out the Gray Man lineup, uh, it's pretty cool. We're on to UTG next. Quite a bit of FDE out there. Several variations of buttstock, sweet UTG whole buffer assembly kits. Uh, and I really like the look of this pro super slim handguard. Haven't seen that one before. Hey guys, you know what? I'll actually leave you with Travis's gear grind video featuring the KE poly arms and his super cool lightweight cloner build. It's right over here. Do not forget to constantly check the AT3 Knowledge Center for giveaways. Maybe this poly lower might be next. I don't know. Go check out Travis.